The situation around the regional hospital in Moscow's suburb of Himki appears to be back to normal. Unlike on Friday evening, there are no unusual activities, ambulance sirens, or even increased security. The last patients from the Crocus shooting who had undergone treatment here were taken to another hospital earlier in the morning. People in Russia are now shifting their focus to the investigation and the question of who was behind the attack. Decision-making centers are, trust me, already known. That's why undoubtedly punishment is coming. Everybody will be punished, from those who commissioned it to the organizers and perpetrators. Russian authorities released court footage of four alleged terrorists who committed the crime. But as the Russian president said, there are many questions that need to be answered. Analysts here are mostly in agreement about the suspect's possible motives. They say the attack has wanted not just to kill, but to generate mistrust towards the government and most of all, instigate social and ethnic divisions in the country. They also say that the organizers deliberately choose to engage Muslims as perpetrators. If they are successful in turning the public opinion in Russia against the Muslim world, and the Arab world is a part of the Muslim world and against the Russian Muslims, that is an ideal option for them. That's why picking these perpetrators was perfectly logical and it couldn't be any different. Finding those who ordered this crime is a matter of national priority for Russia. Yet many are afraid of what the consequences of that determination could bring. Alyosha Shemilenkovich, CGTN, Moscow. Many Moscow residents have donated blood to help the victims of the attack. I'm shocked, indeed. I heard of the news from my mother and then started reading the news and of course I'm shocked. Luckily, none of my friends were there or nearby. I really want to help. It's my first time donating blood. I'm really sorry for the victims. I'm here to donate blood. I have done it before. I want to help the victims of this tragedy, and I know that blood donations are greatly needed right now. Although we are donating blood now, the victims won't get it soon, I guess, because there's a long cycle of checking the blood before transferring it. I want to support people to show we're not alone in this tragedy. We're trying to support each other during this time. We're a close-knit team. I cannot help anyhow right now, but I can donate blood. If there are other methods, I will also try them.